Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and yes, I am in a dressing gown because today we are going to be styling something that I have searched high and low in every single thrift store for months and that is a brown cardigan. You guys saw that I found one during Vlogmas near the end of December and I have been wearing it non-stop since then. So I thought I would show you some of the looks that I've been wearing just kind of like day to day around the house kind of thing but I just, I cannot stop wearing it. I feel like you can create so many outfits with like a simple brown cardigan. So I thought I would show you some of the ones that I've been putting together and yeah so starting out with a base layer i am wearing new tights i have a slip and then i also have this like creamy colored chiffon blouse and i have that tucked into my tights so it doesn't untuck when i move my arms around so i'm gonna be starting out with the most obvious styling which is a plaid skirt that has brown accents on it i feel like this is a really easy way to pair it with a brown cardigan obviously <laughs> I'm going to be putting on the cardigan which is going to be like the main feature in this outfit and I could leave it open like this and I think it looks really cute or I could also button it up so once that's all buttoned up I like to take the collar out so that it's sticking out at the top and then to finish off the look of course I'm going to be wearing my little World War II heart necklace my little locket Okay, and that's the outfit. And for shoes, I would probably pair these with my brown leather heeled loafers. And I wear these constantly. Honestly, if you're going to get yourself a pair of shoes for the fall and winter, definitely make them brown leather heeled loafers. Because I wear these maybe like five out of seven days of the week. You can wear them just with your tights or even with like little socks or something. I think they're so cute. And honestly, every single outfit that I'm going to be showing you would work really well with these shoes. But anyway, back to the actual outfit. So this is what the outfit looks like. It's really cute. I think this cardigan is just perfect because it kind of cinches in here in the waist a little bit without it being too tight. It's like a really nice length and it pairs really nicely with this 1940s um, pleated plaid skirt. And then the white collar here just kind of acts as like a pop of color. And again, if you're going to be wearing the loafers, you can wear them with like some little white socks or something. That way it kind of ties in together. Okay, so next up we have basically the exact same base layer I have underneath. Uh, and I'm just going to be switching over the skirt. So this one is a very similar one. Again, it's a pleated plaid skirt that has brown on it. And to make the outfit look a little bit different, I can just wear it tucked in with the cardigan tucked into the skirt. That way it looks more of like a sweater than a cardigan. And again, I have the same necklace and this is just what it would look like. This would pair perfectly with the same loafers that I showed you with some white socks if I wanted to or just with the uh, new tights. Um, and even though this outfit looks very similar to the one that I just showed you, I think it does make a big difference having the cardigan tucked in versus it being just outside of the skirt. Um, either way, I think it still looks really cute. So starting out with a similar base layer, I have the nude tights, I have a shorter slip that definitely needs to be ironed, and then I'm layering this knit dress over top. Okay, so this outfit looks a little bit different. So I have this like, I don't want to say olive green dress. It's not olive green. It's like a mix between a green and a gray. It's more of like a taupe, I guess. It's probably a better way to describe it. It's like a taupe knit dress. Um, and it does have a slightly drop waist. It's not entirely drop waist, but it's definitely lower than your standard waist. And it has this little knit belt. I'm going to be wearing, obviously, the brown cardigan. So because the waist on this dress is a little bit lower than my natural waist, I'm going to leave the cardigan open because I feel like it just looks a little bit nicer. However, I am going to pop the collar a little bit so you can kind of rest on top of the cardigan. I'm not going to button it or anything. It's just going to stay like that. And I think it looks really, really cute. I love the colors. I feel like it kind of reminds me of like a wartime just because of the tones and everything. So with that in mind, I'm going to be grabbing a little brooch. For this look, I'm going to be wearing my little 1940s heart brooch here on the collar. So that is what this outfit looks like. And this is an outfit that I've been wearing a lot lately just because I love the tones and it's just so easy to like put on and you don't really have to think about it. This dress is so comfy just because it's like this nice knit material. And yeah, and again, this would pair perfectly with those with like brown loafers and like little socks if you wanted to, or just with your tights and like a brown coat or something. Okay, so for this next outfit, I switched over the blouse to a more cream colored one just because I think the colors will work a little bit better. I have this olive colored circle skirt, um, and I think this is so cute. You can find so many of these wool skirts at the thrift store. It looks like that it has more of a 1950s flair to it. So I'm gonna be pairing it with, of course, that brown cardigan. 
and then of course I'm going to make sure the collar is over top of the cardigan to add a little bit of color to the outfit um, and I think the cinching in of this cardigan with this flared kind of like circle skirt I think it kind of creates a more like early 1950s late 1940s kind of silhouette which I think is really really flattering and feminine um, and normally I would be wearing my heart locket but for variety I'm gonna be switching it over to a small little brooch just right here so then it would look like that again those brown loafers would just match perfectly and this is an outfit that I would wear day to day with like a brown coat or something it's really warm just because this is wool and then I have a bit of layers on top okay so for the next look I have to change my slip into a shorter one because this skirt has a pretty scandalous slit at the back I don't know why it goes up so high <laughs> And I could wear it with the cardigan just over top like this. However, just for variety, I'm gonna switch it over and I'm gonna unbutton this cardigan. <laughs> I'm gonna be leaving the top button buttoned up. That way it kind of stays together and I would just wear it like this. And I feel like this has a more 1940s kind of silhouette just because the skirt is a little bit more A-line and just kind of goes straighter like that. I would wear it with my locket, but for variety's sake, I'm gonna be wearing it with this little like matte silver little dangling locket that I have just so that it pairs a little bit better with the gray. So then it looks like that. And again, you could pair this with those brown loafers just because they match everything. And I still think this is a really cute outfit, perfect for like day to day, just like to wear around the house, run errands, or just like a casual winter outfit. Okay, so this outfit is a little bit different for me because you guys know I never wear pants. These are the only pair of pants that I own and they have made an appearance on my channel a couple of times, but I wear them maybe like twice a year like I really don't wear these very often but I figured I would add them in it just for people that don't wear skirts or dresses on the daily like I do um, so I would be wearing that same kind of creamy colored blouse with the brown cardigan obviously I am going to button it up only because these pants have suspenders so I feel like it would look better if it's buttoned up obviously I'm going to be tucking it into the pants and this is the way that I would wear it with pants. Again, I don't have as much experience styling pants just because I really don't like wearing them. I just, I feel much more myself in skirts and dresses, but I figured I would throw it in just for anybody that doesn't like wearing skirts or pants. So anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys like it. I'm still trying to figure out the format of how to do styling videos. You guys know I much prefer to shoot on location and more of like a lookbook kind of thing. But right now there's like a really big snowstorm outside and it's like really, really windy and really cold. So I thought I would film inside here anyway in a more simple kind of styling video so if you have any preference on how you like these kind of styling videos like do you want me to talk through them or do you want it to be just like music and like voiceovers maybe instead of me actually talking to the camera I don't know let me know in the comments below while I try to figure it out um, and yeah if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos and I'll see you guys next time bye